if I take smaller bites, then I don't get all of the all the ingredients. But if I take big bites, then I'm like. Hey, what's up? It's Vince Leo from VinceLeo.com, and I'm hanging out with my friend Taylor today. Hi. Now we are outside a cheesecake factory here in LA, and they are serving the Impossible Burger. And Taylor, have you had the Impossible Burger yet? Not yet. You haven't. Super excited to try it, though. Okay. Well, why don't you say we go in and order it up and see what it tastes like? Let's do it. Let's do it. Like, why do they have to call it things like that? I ordered a juice the other day that was called Fat Blaster, and I'm like, why? Why not just call it something like healthy, glowy goodness or something? It's a really good juice though, but I hated ordering it. I was like, I do not want to order it. Be like, hi, can I get a Fat Blaster, please? So I do think it's really important to be able to go somewhere with like your family that's maybe not vegan or vegetarian and find a lot of different options instead of just like a side salad. So it's actually pretty cool. Here they on the menu there's a lot of things that I see that are either already vegan or can be modified really easily. And we just found out that their fries are fried in a separate oil, so you're good with the fries. So if you don't know about fries, they're not always vegan. So a lot of the salads can be made vegan if you just take off the cheese and probably maybe switch the dressing or something too. And that's, it's here, it's here. Thank you. Fine and hot, enjoy. Thank you. So I was saying that it's, red meat was the first thing that I stopped eating and that was because when I was little, red meat hurt my stomach. Like my body just didn't know what to do with it. I was sick pretty much every time I ate it, especially since it would be like towards the end of dinner time and stuff, and that whole night I would just be really sick. So my parents kind of figured out maybe it's the meat and would substitute, like take out the meat for me, but they would still eat it and they had the idea that you need meat for protein and to be healthy, so they still had me eating turkey and ham and chicken. So when I was 16, I went on a trip. I flew by myself to meet some friends, and I was, I bought, I brought a book on the plane that was about being vegetarian and different like recipes and how to start your journey. So I was reading it, and it had a lot to do with a lot of information about animals and how they're treated and raised and what it actually takes for them to end up on our plate. And I just started bawling, like full on the ugly cry next to this stuffy businessman staring at this 16 year old little hippie girl crying her eyes out reading a, a book and I'm like do you know do you know what they do to animals it's so sad and he was like yeah it's, it's not 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 cool and uh, for, so I became vegetarian that day and and has, have stuck with that but then journeyed and then throughout the last 15 years, I've um, taken quite a journey with, with food and being vegetarian, being vegan, being raw, just trying to figure out what works for my body and what works for my spirit and my mind. Because I think that there's a lot that's involved in our food choices. It's not just whether we eat animals or what kind of animal or what part of it we eat, but there's like a lot of spiritual essence to it as well. So. Yeah, it's been it's been a while since I've been on the meat wagon and you know for my body it works. Like lots of veggies and grains and, and eating really light and clean and pure foods works for my body. And so that's what I do. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Okay, first it smells like McDonald's. <laughs> um I don't actually see any sauce, but we asked if the sauce was vegan, and it is, which is cool. They make their own like vegan secret sauce, which he said is like some kind of weird vegan mayonnaise, which I'm totally into. <laughs> um, let's do this. I'm also missing the bun though. Like I really do like my burgers with buns, but the all of their bread here, all of their buns, even they, I, I, even the gluten-free buns have egg in them. So that was kind of disappointing, Cheesecake Factory. Get get your get your buns on some vegan buns. <laughs> Super salty. I 
it's actually really like it does have a very meaty flavor and the texture is firm like it's it's kind of weird how meaty it is like weird as in it's weird that it's no meat that it's vegan but it's how do you even how do you describe the texture of it i didn't get anything but the but the patty <laughs> in that first bite so i haven't had meat in a really long time actually so to say that it tastes like meat might not be entirely appropriate but with the onions and the tomatoes and the pickles and the lettuce i still don't taste any sauce on there i'm not sure where it's at but the combination of everything really reminds me of what I remember a McDonald's hamburger tasting like so that's that's cool and the but the the burger like the patty isn't falling apart it's not super soft it's not too dry it's just it is really salty though that would be my only thing the salt the sauce and the bun other than that I think it's a good option I think it's a good I think it's a good vegan burger I've had the Beyond Burger a lot. That was That's kind of my favorite vegan burger right now. And I'd say the difference between the two is definitely the Beyond Burger has, it's really oily. It's like very moist. And it has a lot of coconut flavor to it. It's meaty, like it has that meat-ish essence to it, but it's very coconutty and oily. And this one, I don't think there's any excess oil that I taste and it doesn't have a coconut flavor at all to it that I can detect. With a bun it's gonna be different. Like with a bun and some sauce, I think I might. I also know the ingredients. I also, I'm, I'm an ingredient looker so I know that the Impossible Burger, the ingredients in that aren't, I like the ingredients better of the Beyond Burger to be honest. But in terms of taste and texture, well, oh, it's tough. I still think that I might go with the with the Beyond Burger, if I'm honest. Yep. Sorry, Impossible Burger. <laughs> it's like, if I take smaller bites, then I don't get all of the, all the ingredients. But if I take big bites, then I'm like, The struggle. <laughs> the struggle of being filmed while you're eating. I'm like dripping. Mm -hmm. All over. I really think that the salt is bugging me the most. I think if they cooled it on the salt, I know I don't eat a lot of salt. So my salt tolerance is, I think I said salt 700 times in this two minutes, but my salt tolerance is lower than maybe the average person, but, but look at this. It's like, you can see all the salt crystals. The burger, the, the patty itself, I'm sure already is salty enough, but there's no sauce. We have to ask him about the secret sauce. And I think it's the lettuce that's dripping. Not the burger. Because the burger is actually not that drippy. So we just got the secret sauce, the vegan weird mayo thing, and he said it kind of tastes like tartar sauce, but not. So it smells like, it smells like ranch and ketchup. And, and I don't know, I don't like the way that it smells, but I guess we could try it. I don't want to put very much. It's, The least good looking saucy shot. <laughs> I'm really nervous about it. I like how I now see the sauce is right in the middle. Gotta get that bite. and I'm sure some people would like it. <laughs> it just wasn't, wasn't my jam. The fries are good, also super salty, but that's just what you get with fries, so. So we just wrapped up the Impossible Burger here, Cheesecake Factory, 
And Taylor, that sauce kind of... Yeah, mm. wasn't my thing. Wasn't your it jam. wasn't my thing. I mean, if you like ranchy, tangy sauces, you might like it. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You Everybody never know. Thing. So thanks for joining me and showing us all these vegan options, including the Impossible Burger. Yeah, check it out. You can get it at Cheesecake Factory. So if you want to see more Taylor, check out our YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link that in the description box below. Some really great videos and a personal story and some struggles she's been going through that she shares that it's really inspiring. Come check, check me it. out. <laughs> <laughs> Come check me out on the link below. On the link below. <laughs> So let me know in the comments what you order at the Cheesecake Factory or if you've tried the Impossible Burger. And as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week. And join the Fit From Food notification squad by ringing that bell next to the subscribe button. And remember to keep living Fit From Food. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.